everyone, Amanda here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new, please do hit the subscribe button. I would be really grateful. Um, and if you're returning, hello, hello. Welcome back to the madness. <laughs> so I'm here today to share my completed Alice journal. Now, there is room, still room in my journal to add more things. I always like, I'd rather underfill them than overfill them because then i think if i'm going to use it or i'm going to gift it people can then add things and it won't be too big so the all of the papers for these the the collection that i've used i'll link in the description box below there was a full journal collection then i've shown how to make the cover that also in august was the full a second paper collection specifically an eight by eight and we made this beautiful mini album Okay, so we're, I'm Alice now, I'm done with Alice now, but I'll show you the inside of my journal. So it does lace up and in hindsight, <laughs> I've got a little admission to make. It's not terribly functional. It's not a terribly functional way of doing a journal cover. It looks really cool, okay, it's not terribly functional. So I wouldn't uh, be doing this again, but I wanted to try it. And I do like it. It's not that difficult to relace it back up, but I'm an impatient person. So it is like a gatefold, okay? And we've used the Midori style binding. It's nice and flexible because I've used the fabric tape method rather than cardstock. So that then means that all of this can lay flat, okay? We've got three signatures. I, we've got signature one, then signature two comes from this side and lays on top of signature three. And then because of the way we've designed the cover, when you close it, they slide into each other and there's your three signatures. So that's how I did a different style of journal cover for my followers this month. I do a different style every single month, a different way of making a journal cover. It's different. It might only be a little bit different, but it's always different. So hit that subscribe button because <laughs> you don't want to miss them. Even if you don't use my collections, the videos that I share... You know, you can use the ideas on other things, all right, on whatever you want. So, I decided to leave the inside cover plain. I didn't add any pockets because, like I say, um, I wanted to leave room for whoever ends up with this journal to add their own things. And here, I know I'm waffling a bit and I'll show you the pages, but bear with me because there's always a method to my madness. I hear over and over and over again, I've done this, but you know, it's not perfect and this is wrong and that's wrong and that's wrong. Okay, I make projects. It, it, it's basically my living now. I, you know, I earn money from it and it's what I pay my car insurance and my road tax and my food with. Okay, I do make a small, very small living, equivalent to a part-time job. Okay, but the point is I do it every day, all day. And have a look here. This eyelet, all the rest of them are perfect. But this eyelet here is too high up. Okay? Imperfection. Am I going to cry about it and, you know, think that I need to redo the whole cover? No. I know it's there. It bugs the heck out of me. But it doesn't matter. This page here has got a slight bubble. I've obviously not spread the glue enough. So it's not stuck down perfect. But do you know what? It doesn't matter. So when you're creating your project and you think, oh, this is not brilliant, it's not perfect. I see people on YouTube and they do theirs brilliant and perfect. I can tell you now, they're more than likely I've got faults somewhere. They're just not pointing them out because there's nobody out there creates perfect work every single time. OK, they don't. Otherwise, they're a robot. Anyway, let's have a look. <laughs> so I've done small signatures. I've not put heaps of pages in because we've got three, okay? And like I say, when it all slides together, I wanted to leave room. That would be a good idea to do like a, a box, wouldn't it? You could do a wrapper. Have your signatures and do a wrapper. Oh, sorry, my brain's whirring. I'll, fingers on lips or somebody will nick my idea. Right. <laughs> so I've just, um, all I've done is inked them. Okay, um, inked them, stenciled on them. I've added the pockets that are in the collection. I've used this beautiful stencil. I think it's a Stamperia one. And I used Vintage Photo um, Distress Oxide. Okay, um, these are all in the collection. Um, all 
in the full journal collection. I've used the odd thing from the 8x8 mini album collection as well. So my monthly members got both, you see, for free. Okay, so as you can see, I don't feel the need to fill every page with something because I want to either, if I'm going to use it or I'm going to gift it or I'm going to sell it, I want them to be able to write in it or further embellish it to their own to their own wants and needs okay if i fill every page with stuff how are they going to use it it's just going to sit there collecting dust and i want these to be used and loved so here i've used uh, embellishment from the collection and one of the words glued them together and just made a tuck for a flash card beautiful papers here this was actually one of the um mini album pages the eight by eight pages and i printed that one on photo paper and it made it really vibrant and bright and I just had it laying around. I hadn't used it, so I created some pockets. And I've got a couple of these. I haven't put anything in there. I've left it empty for whoever ends up with the journal to fill it with their memories and their things. Beautiful. beautiful. I love this page where this little guy here is looking at the drunk me bottle and he's looking like he's surprised or shocked or worried. <laughs> and then here I've used leftovers and scraps, embellishments, and made a little cluster and just added some stenciling. Okay. And then here, this little side cluster I've made with leftovers. All I've done is layered up two literal strips, fancy border punch, added an embellishment and a word, and glued it on. Okay, so I always, I've got very little usable things left from this collection. Because I've made a journal and a mini album, I've just about used everything. There's the odd scraps left over, but, you know, nothing major to write home about. So here we've got the lovely Mad Hat. Uh, so here I've used the background pages. I always put background pages of some description in my collections. And I've just used my envelope punch board and made my own envelopes. I don't always put envelopes in the collections because I just think you can make your own. Um, so I'd rather give you other things. Then we've got a tag and I shrunk. This is one of the journaling cards. I put it on black card and I did four stitching with a white gel pen. Because I do like it. I like stitching, but I can't always be bothered to actually sew. So, you know, you can do four stitching with a pen. It, it looks great. More stenciling. This is another Stamperia one with the clock. This is the quick and easy flip that I did. So I've done another journaling card there and just added dots at the corner. And fussy cut one of the fob watchers. Added it to black card to make it more sturdy. And they're fun. And you can journal on the back, you know, with a white gel pen or gold or silver. And then in the back here, I added one of the word tags there. Just glued it at the top so that you can slip something under if you like. Okay, and then this one does come out of its little corner pocket. And if you've seen the video, it flips up and you've got two journaling spots and you've got the tuck. So it's actually, you've got... You know, it's interesting, it's interactive, you've got writing, you've got room for a tag and you've got room for some fun embellishments as well. So it's just making that page extra, extra interesting, which is my favourite word, adding interest. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of that signature. And then this signature is laying this way. So you can take advantages of the, advantage here of the other side of the pages. Okay, so and then you can open it that way. Okay, so you could open them, you know, you could even fold all those pages one on top of the other and have it like that if you like, but you don't want to start complicating your life. So here I just made a pocket with some leftover paper, added one of the fussy cuts and a word band leftover from um, the 8x8 collection, I think. These tags were actually a free bet in my Facebook group, so anybody could get those. Also in the collection, but I did give, you know, I, I often give little tasters or little bits of collections for free. All right, lots of lovely writing space there. Okay, plenty there. Just using leftovers and stenciling to add a bit of interest to a plain page. So here I've just got a bit of fussy cut left over. Made a bit of a mess with glue on that one. Oh, well, it'll be all right. A little word and then just a strip of leftover paper. Perfect. Another one of the little flip outs. I won't flip it out because you've just seen it. But again, a little embellishment, fussy cut. How cute do these look? Cut them out, stick them on card, cut them out again or print them. Print them on white card and fussy cut them. Um, but I just like the black border. 
okay but it makes them more sturdy and then they're just fun little things to pull in and out of pockets they don't always have to be glued down to a page okay and then obviously here the keys i made into the little charm um to go on my twine that closes the book more senselin center signature haven't uh, i need to tighten these strings haven't done that yet so that's the main collage page absolutely beautiful more of the stenciling another envelope in a different colorway with another little tag it's all very simple here i made a pocket are these glued in no i made my own pocket here very easy to do out of leftovers then this pocket was in the kit and i've just laid them up and added a word and then you've got lots of room for lots of lovely yummy goodies okay and then the journal cards will go in the smaller pocket there so it's you know it's a stacked pocket doesn't have to be complicated. <laughs> Another lovely pocket. Okay. Just stenciled around the edges. It's more stenciling. Okay. And then the final signature. Much the same. Much the same. You don't have to overcomplicate them. Um, here's a pit, what I call a paper paper clip. I've stolen that idea from Paper Phenomenon. Um, whether she invented it, I don't know, but that's where I first saw it and that's where I've literally stolen the idea from. No, I've not stolen the idea, I've borrowed it. <laughs> I don't claim that it's my own idea. So I've borrowed it, I've not stolen it. There's a difference. <laughs> uh, tags, journaling cards again, just backed with... This is remnants of card leftover from making my mini album. This is leftover paper from, um, you know doing the mini album, making envelopes, always use up, always use up. I had leftovers, so I made a pocket, okay? Stenciling, I'm just letting the pages do the work, really. Another lovely envelope made from the background paper. Super simple, if you've got an envelope punch board, one of the best investments that you'll ever make is buying one of those, because you, then you can make envelopes out of anything, and they're accurate. You can just fold them and make envelopes but the envelope punch board makes it easier okay more beautiful paper again made my own cluster here with uh, the word band the drink me bottle and the little flower added a bit of stenciling it just makes that page look pretty okay another one of the pockets with the printed page that i've left empty for whoever ends up with this journal another cluster along the bottom using up my leftovers and another side cluster using up my leftovers with some more lovely journaling cards. And how cool does that look? And I'm loving this border punch. Let me see if I can show it you. So it's, it makes it look like, you know, you've pulled a page out of a ring out of a ring bound notebook. It gives you that kind of look. And it's an EK success one. I don't think it was terribly cheap, but I love it. So every now and again, I'll treat myself to something, even if it's silly money. You know, I work hard, so. But only now and again, <laughs> I'm not made of money. Right, another pocket, lovely tags, <laughs> um, lovely journaling cards. If you're, first, if you're a person that's uh, watching one of my videos for the first time, you probably think I'm absolutely like, what is this woman going on about? But, you know, that's Amanda Land. More stenciling. I love this stencil. It's a Stamperia one um, that I got, I got on sale ages ago. So I don't know if it's still available, but it's got a clock. I don't know what they're called because I throw the packets away. Um, but yeah, the Stamperia stencils are good. I don't like their, um, you know, the moulds. The moulds for doing things out of clay are utter pants. But the stencils are beautiful. So then that one goes on top of there. That one goes on top of there. And then when you push that, it just all slides together nicely. How cool is that? That's really getting my brain thinking for a, a way to do a mini album as well. Right, I'm keeping my fingers on my lips, or else I'll have my ideas nicked. <laughs> Somebody will do it before I get a chance. And then, you know, on the side here, I've just added Wonderland. We've got the Midori binding, beautiful on the back, nice and flexible. It's not going to split, plenty of room for it to grow. So there you go. I'm not lacing it all back up, because I'm not going to lie, I can't be bothered. I will see you in the next video. I'm going to change this for some nice ribbon. Because the twine, it splits at the end when you're lacing it up. So I need a really pretty ribbon where I can melt the end so it doesn't fray and it will make lacing up easier. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. My little charm. 
me just put my little charm back together. I love making these. And then they're just out of embellishments. You don't have to go hunting on Amazon or wherever, China. You can make your own embellishments. I always give you plenty in the kits to play with. Right, that's that one done. I'm on with, I'm on with my huge book of ephemera ideas. I need to do some more videos on this and get this finished. And I might put this one up for sale and um, then get on with my Flutter by Dreams, which is going to be my next journal. So there'll be a unique cover and uh, I'll share it all with you and you can join in and give it a try and use whatever papers you like. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.